series phones. And hopefully you guys are excited to learn about it and see it as I am to talk to you about it. So the Windows 7 series phone is a different kind of phone designed for life in motion. It brings together the best of, uh, of both worlds. It brings together my work life and my personal life into a single location in a very seamless fashion, a very pleasurable way, way to work with it. We created a new design system that we codenamed Metro that emphasizes smart design. This is pervasive throughout the entire Windows Phone 7 series uh, experience. It, re it represents a whole set of elements that were designed to fit together, from layout to motion to fonts and even hardware integration. It's a system that's integrated into every aspect of the phones. It allows for easy reading, simple navigation, and natural gestures throughout the process as I use the phone. These phones are very simple to use. And I'll tell you, I've spent the last several days building about 30 some of these phones for our execs to show to press. And the more I use the phone, the more I work with it, the more I understand how easy it is and how natural these gestures are, and what a pleasure it is to really work with these phones. I can't wait the fact that now that we've, we've announced it, I can actually start using it in public. Before this, we had to keep them locked in, a, in the drawers in our offices. We couldn't leave the buildings with them. They were locked down tight so nobody else could see them. Now I can be out in public and use this phone, and I don't have to use anything else. Now, we also looked at applications. We've taken applications on from a different angle. We looked at how people use applications on their PCs, and how people use, their applica use applications on their phones. We noticed that at times this can be a very disjointed experience. So we thought, and how can we solve this? How can we make this easier and more pleasurable to work in? So what we did was we took applications to what we feel is the next evolutionary step in application development, and we integrated them into the phone. So there are, there are numerous integrated experience in the phone where applications work with other applications more seamlessly, where applications in the operating system interact together in a more seamless fashion. So you'll see some of that as I work through the demo, and uh, you, you maybe you'll be able to understand what we've done and how we brought things together and made it a more simple experience, where I don't have to dive in and out of different applications to uh, to move data. Data actually might transfer seamlessly from application A to application B, or from the application to the operating system. So I'm sure you're tired of hearing me just yammer about it. You want to see the product, so let's fire it up and I'll give you a look at what the phone looks like here. Now, the first thing I want to point out is I'm going to connect to the phone via USB cable. This is early beta code. To say again, this is actually it's early pre-beta code. It's not even beta code yet. So it may glitch. I may, at times, this is the first time we've actually used this video out feature. Our devs just built it about a week ago. So it's the first time we've been trying it. And sometimes if the cable gets a little loose, the image will lock up here and I'm still going down here. So if it does that, somebody let me know here in the front row that it stopped moving there because then I just gotta unplug it and replug it in to get it tight. So I apologize if that happens, it does every so often. Now, the dot on the screen is my finger, it's my touch point. I can have multiple touch points. All of our new Windows phones are passive touch, multi-touch enabled screens. WVGA screens, so nice high resolution large screens to enable very crisp clear viewing experience on the phone. So here on the start screen, at a glance, I've got different information that's important to me. I've got the time and date up above. I've got my next appointment on my calendar down here. And down at the very bottom, I can see that I've got 10 new emails waiting for me. As I have new items, the screen only times out in 15 seconds, so bear with me. As I have new items that come up, They'll show up down at the bottom too, missed calls, voicemails, text messages. So at a glance, I can see what I might need to take action on and what's happened in my life. So as I swipe up, the phone unlocks and I have my new start screen. Now my start screen is broken down into two halves. I have one half that has what we call live tiles. And as I pivot over to the other side, I have a whole bunch of applications. Now I can take any of these applications or experiences and pin them over to the live tile side if I want quicker, easier access to them. Or some of these applications will actually have what we call live tile integration where the tile will respond to different things that are happening out there on the web. So I might want it over here as a more desirable place to be, such as a weather application. More desirable to have a weather app over here that might show me what the weather is in an animated view in the tile than it is to have it over on just a row of applications that I can have to go into to find out 
what the weather's like in, in city X, Y, or Z, right? Now, these tiles can be reordered in any way I want. I can grab any one, tap and hold it. I can move it around, you notice the tiles pivot. I can drop it right in there if I don't want it. I can hit that little broken heart and it's gone. So I can move them around, I can adjust the screen, customize it to be uniquely mine. I can change the colors if I want to, right? So my phone can be my phone. It's not somebody else's vision of what the phone should look like. So I'll move back up to the top here, and I could point out some of these things. So I keep talking about live tiles. You notice the, peop the uh, pictures in the people tile up in the upper right there. Those aren't just generic photos that are built into the ROM on the phone. Those are my actual friends' pictures that are coming down from their Facebook profiles, from their Windows Live profiles, or from my exchange accounts that I have, my exchange contacts. Those are the actual pictures that they're using. These aren't just pre-canned images that are built into the phone. Text messages, it's got a little uh, bubble there. As these text messages start rolling in, the counter starts going up. That bubble turns into a little emoticon. As I get more text messages, the emoticon goes from a straight face emoticon, he gets happy, he gets really excited. So the more text messages that I haven't looked at, he react, it reacts to it to let me know, hey, you know, we've got a whole bunch of text messages here, check them out. Um, Outlook will count up, next to Outlook I'll get new messages counters popping up there. My pictures tile. My pictures tile is a, tile, is a picture of, that is actually on my phone. That's one of my pictures, not some generic photo on the phone. I have a tile that allows me to go to my games and it's linked, our games experience is linked to Xbox Live. So I can have my Xbox Live account on my phone. There's an application, Internet Explorer, that I've pinned over here for quick and easy access. I've got a contact, my friend Katie Jordan up here on the screen, that I like to communicate with often. So I put her right on my homepage so I can call her in a heartbeat. I can see what's going on with her on Facebook. If the, she has new updates that come in, that she updates her social network, that tile will flip over and it'll tell me any new postings that she has. So as things change in her life, she posts new information, I get that showing up on the tile. My music and videos tile has an artist in it. That's the last artist I listen to. This is live, it's not some generic tile for music of a microphone or something. As I switch artists, I listen to somebody else, that tile will change to a picture of that band or that artist dynamically for me. Information comes down off the web automatically. My calendar. Uh, easily accessible, and without having to dive into the calendar, I can see my next appointment right there on the screen. I don't even have to go into the calendar to see what's going on. So, anything can be pinned to the start menu. Contacts, playlists, music, different, you know, songs, albums, artists, uh, videos, web pages, um, applications. I can pin just about anything on the phone, so it's a shortcut right there on my start menu. And again, customize it with color and however I want.